Mr. Shakespeare, I don't want to pester you. Good. Excellent news. Cheerio. I wanted to ask you. I don't have a favorite play. I admire all my fellow dramatists equally, and yes, I do think women should be allowed to perform the female roles. So why are you come home? I've lived so long in imaginary worlds, I think I've lost sight of what is real. You went to London and became this great writer. Twenty years, Will. You were hardly here. To us, you're a guest. Good night, husband. Hmm. You conquered England, Will, and returned victorious to your family. Well, I've never let the truth get in the way of a good story. <laughs> it's love that will blossom in this garden. Well, something has to. Not that yours has blossomed. I'm not a good gardener, it's true. Your talent has a greater scope than all the other poets combined. And yet you've lived the smallest life. Compared to Kid, or Marlowe. He is dead, of course, my lord, so you know, win some, lose some. <laughs> you must write again, Will. You'll find the whole of me in every word I wrote. When I dip the ink and make a mark, all is true. <laughs> Mother thinks you've come home to die. I've just bought a pension. I can't die for at least ten years or I'll be ruined. I finally know what I have to do. I know in my heart that it's right. Drew, put your seatbelt on! Always picking up after you, boys. You okay? Notice you've copied my beard. Some people move on, but not us. This is the fight of our lives. There's something that I gotta tell you. You're really not gonna like it. Your real name's Harry. Harry James Barber. And you changed your name because why? The FBI's looking for me to rob the bank in California. And? It's the biggest bank heist in U.S. history. Look it up. I'm gonna rip off the President of the United States. It doesn't get any bigger or better than that. Seemed like a good idea at the time. How much are we talking here? As much as 30 million. I'm in? Yeah, you're in. Can I hug you? <laughs> Check this out. See that building? That's the bank. What the that for? We're gonna crush some grapes? That's a hot tub. What's a hot tub? Sorry, I shanked my drive. I'll shank you, you sherbet colored ass! If everybody does their job, we should be looking at Nixon's money within an hour. How are you gonna shut off the alarm? I'm working on it. I know how you can do it. Fire in the hole, do it. Hey, look at this! It remains. That's when it all started to go sideways. 456 boxes smashed open. They were obviously looking for something specific. He's a crook, and crooks don't know how to stop when they're ahead. Hey! You never told me your dad was the sheriff. Why this bank? Why these safe deposit boxes? The last time the Bureau assigned 100 agents was when John F. Kennedy was assassinated. John, Harry, Steve McQueen, I don't know what to call you anymore. Find me Steve McQueen. What's your name again? Steve McQueen. I'd known Todd since college. He moved to the city a few years ago, and he was living off a fellowship that allowed him to work full-time on a biography he was writing. 
of an American political theorist named Stephen Taubes. Todd's work could take years to finish, he told me. There was much to be cleared up for the record, and a good deal of intellectual rehabilitation was in store. I didn't ask him what he meant by this, but when he offered to bring me on as a research assistant, I quickly learned that some things were better left unspoken. The first day of high school is the most awkward day of your life. I'm in every way not ready for this. So what do you want to talk about? Your parents? School? Boys? Zoe? Everything you're feeling is normal. Your sister was murdered, and you're trying to deal with that. I remember last summer. Who's that? I knew it wasn't you, I swear to God. We found your car, Mark. Are you sure there's nothing you want to tell us? He was the last person to see Zoe alive. I never said I was perfect. As long as we learn from our mistakes, they can't really hurt us, right? Echo, Mark didn't kill Zoe. You ever see this guy, you turn around, you walk away. I'm serious, Echo. I'm Jason, I knew your sister. Something happened last night. It's crazy how quickly a good time can turn bad. But it's all my fault. I had no idea what he was gonna do. You said once that you felt stuck in her shadow. We're not as different as you think. Like a stop. What? Pretending. Do we even know what really happened? We don't know. You didn't know my sister. My parents didn't know my sister. I barely knew my sister. How do we all not know? Someday, everybody's gonna know my name.
Cameron Todd Willingham, you are guilty of capital murder. By order of the state of Texas, you are sentenced to death. You're my first visitor in a long time. How long has it been? Eight years. Prisoners talk about doing time. On the road, there is no time. The clock stopped moving the minute we were sentenced. How about you tell me what happened? man can't save his own kids. Don't deserve to live. But I did not kill my own children, Elizabeth. I love them more than I love life itself. I found myself talking to a vulnerable, sensitive man. I believe the state of Texas is about to kill an innocent man. You failed to challenge witnesses that changed their story. He had the motive. He had the means. That boy is a monster, and he will die. His lawyer decided Todd was guilty from the get-go. He failed to find a single scientific expert. Doesn't mean he's innocent. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. My emotions? What? Because I'm a woman? Great. I'm going to go finish your job for you. You ever read Man's Search for Meaning? He says, to live is to suffer, and to survive, you got to find meaning in the suffering. I want to live. That's why we're not going to give up. Why do you think Todd Willingham confessed to you? I ain't supposed to talk about this stuff. Who told so... you not to talk about it? The district attorney? Oh, they no. are going to kill an innocent person. No, I got a gun. Get out of here, then. These so-called experts didn't even bother to check the space heater. There's no arson. There's no crime. It ain't going to make no difference. Liz, I'm not here to be safe. I am here to die. What chance we got, honestly? think this is just about Todd. The system doesn't work. It's broken. These are my last days, Liz. If I start hoping, he's going to go by just like that. I understand. But I'm hoping. Abby Johnson is in the other room. Here. Our first order of business is to present Planned Parenthood's Employee of the Year Award. Abby Johnson. This is Abby. She's our newest volunteer escort. Abby, this is Cheryl Alessandro. I'd be the youngest director in Planned Parenthood history. You'll actually be in charge of the abortions at your clinic. I have a chance to make a real difference. No matter what you do for the rest of your life, you're still going to be a baby killer. The only thing that's changed is you, Abby. Can you even hear yourself talk right now about these procedures? These are little babies. I'm not going to apologize for doing a job that helps women in crisis. There's still a part of me that isn't sure. I know. But the one thing that all experts agree on is that at this stage, the fetus can't feel anything. Sorry to bother you, but they need an extra person in the back room. Are you free? It was like it was twisting and fighting for its life. We commend the souls of these hundreds of children. And Lord, we pray to end abortion. I really appreciate what you've done for us. I'll not forget it. 22,000 abortions. How do I even comprehend that? Rough day at the office. It's your dad and me. You are our baby from the moment of conception. We are paying you to be a perfect instrument of corporate policy. We are an abortion provider. I can't be a part of this anymore. Everything that they told us is a lie. Don't underestimate the repercussions of this. You gotta be careful. tell you what's going to happen if you walk through that door. Congratulations. You've made an enemy of one of the most powerful organizations on the planet. Some say loyalty is all we ever had. You know I've been loyal. I'm thinking it's time. I want to be made. See the smells.
He says you're one of us. But was wrong. You got as much chance as being one of us as this little mouse right here. Stay still. Don't even think about it. You know you should wear a mask. I can see it your whole face. What are we doing, partner? Right on time, partner. We gotta go now. That's Raymond. No one breaks a window without Raymond say so. How come the guards don't make them wear this prison shit? They can wear whatever they want. I ain't scared of those pricks. Hello, boys. This part of prison is much nicer over here. I run with these Italians. They've been really greedy. But I'm gonna stand up to them. Mondos. You be my guys on the outside. You understand the offer? This is it. They got an actual steel vault. Full of safety deposit boxes. Things you wouldn't want to take to the bank. Who do you think uses those deposit boxes? Anybody cross this Raymond gets buried. No one we hit can tell the cops what we took. I ain't worried about the cops. We're gonna need more guys than just us. Your name's Buddy. Plus the town you're from. Nobody knows anybody's real name. Talking about how legends get me. Are you kidding me? We were promised what we was promised. We gotta get paid and get out. They're doing us one by one. You're gonna turn up dead, too. I'll break your back and never blink an eye. Do you know where you are? You have come to the wrong place. You're telling that to the wrong man. I get us in, you get us out. They injected you with zinc, cadmium, sulfide. They tried to shut your organs down. They've got to have a cure. We're only 10 minutes away from the CDC. You have three months to live. Three months! You always have to push it. You always have to take another shot. I just want to see how you're doing. I'm right where you put me. The cowboy needs help paying for his medical treatment. You need to get back in the ring, Bear. That's going to be your ticket. People don't know what I've been through. People don't know what I feel. Is Coach Bronx still around? Are you a friend of his? Cody Black Bear. Come to visit your old trainer, huh? There's a huge underground fight. It's called the basement. Big cash prize. I flash back to my worst days with my worst pain. Bear, I can get you in. And it won't be easy, by the way. I stepped in the ring. I stepped in the ring. Gloves on, fist up. Took the hits, but took the hits for the ones that I love. Down on the ground, body bruised, eyes closed, blood flows, blinded by lights in the roar of the crowd. My demons stand over me now. Darwin, the most controversial fighter in MMA, is now suspended for a year. Are you just put him away and put him away now. This you can do is win that tournament. If you walk into that ring, you're not walking out the same. Do you understand? Yeah, I mean, I'm my own worst enemy. Yeah.